Let's talk Padres and Braves. Another sweep. So the Padres won game one, four to zero. Michael King went out there and just pitched his guts out. It was amazing. Seven innings, oh no God. runs, five hits, 12 strikeouts. Oh, my No God. walks. Was... Fernando amazing. Tatis gets up there in the first inning and homers. They said that it was his first playoff game with fans in attendance, which I think is super <laughs> right. cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, he's going to go yard on that first at bat, right? And yeah, then right. Kyle Higashioka goes out there and hits a home run late in the game. And did you see what he got the next day? No, he did. He got so Tom DeLong throughout the first pitch for game one of Blink 182, yeah. for those of you who don't know, uh, my favorite country band. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and so since yeah. he was at the game, he loved that Higgy home run. And so the next day, Higgy comes into the clubhouse and Tom DeLong gave him the guitar he used to shoot all the small things video. You're yeah. kidding. I am not kidding. Dude, that's awesome. It's all over the Padre social media. I'll send it to you later. It's awesome. Okay. It's super cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's Let me just go ahead and jazz on Higgy for a minute because I have been singing his praises for years. I'm still mm -hmm. upset he's not in pinstripes. Like, I, I know they wear pinstripes in San Diego, but you know, <laughs> when I say pinstripes, pinstripes, I mean the royal pinstripes. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm still upset that he doesn't still play for the Yankees. I understand that we're in a good spot right now, but. I think that much of him. I always have, especially defensively. But you get a Higgy bomb every once in a while, and everything, it just it's like just such a joy. It's such an unexpected just nugget from heaven or something. You're just like it is unexpected. Didn't he have like the lowest OPS a couple of years of a couple of years yeah. ago out of all qualified hitters? Yeah. <laughs> especially all qualified I, catchers. Yeah, he's come a long way. He's become a I mean, I think he's a good everyday player for the Padres. I like that they have him there. But defensively, that so. dude is legit. The Mets just took the lead on a Pete Alonzo home run. Look who showed up. Holy buckets. Holy cow. Three-run home run. Wow. Oh Let me change my graph. The Hold top on. of the ninth. Three to two. Here we are. Just like that. That ball snuck over, too. I didn't think it was going to make it. I thought it was going to get caught at the wall. But, and the polar bear. Yeah. Um, so this is the thing that I think was interesting about that first game. Yes, the Braves struck out 12 times just by Michael King's hand alone. They struck out 15 times total. There is some talk about, well, they played a doubleheader the day before. Like... If you had so? taken care of business, you wouldn't have had to. This is the way it works. Right? Mm -hmm. right? And yes, it is unfortunate, and it sucks that they had to have yes. those games pushed. Right? Yeah. But the Mets also had to play a doubleheader the day before, and they, they have extended their series. Yes. So I don't want to hear exactly. it. Also, let's be honest that the Braves have been limping into this postseason experience since, like, June. Okay? So the fact that they made it at all is fabulous. You want to talk about them expected to be in the playoffs since the All-Star break? I don't think so. So the fact that anybody is disappointed by their immediate departure is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You're living in Long right. Island, okay? Right. If I'm a Braves fan, I'm happy that they were there at all. 100%. That's it. Yeah. 100%. So game two, the Padres won that one 5-4. to four. Max Free got lit up early. He, just, he lasted two innings, gave up five runs on the second. Eight hits, two strikeouts is all. No walks, though. Um, mm. the Braves through the course of the entire game had six hits. Michael Harris, the second had three of them. Yeah. A single, a double, a home run, two RBI and two runs. Dad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like he's so he's solid. Like the only guy on that roster who was healthy. So I know <laughs> just can't do it but by himself to his, to his credit. Not only was he only the only healthy guy, like he knew he was the only one stepped up, did his job, got, did everything he could to carry it and take care of business. Like, yep. that's a testament. Listen, and getting into the playoffs when you really shouldn't have is a testament to the entire organization's capabilities. So everybody calm down. Nobody's coming after the Braves or the Braves fans. We get it. It's awesome. It's all unfortunate. It's also, this is what you can expect. It's fine. I've been saying for a while, I kept thinking that they're going to run out of gas because of all the injuries. I think they overachieved by making it at all. 100%. Yep. So. 
glorified spoiler for the D-backs. That's all this was. Yes. Um, so real quick, Joe Musgrove, he gave up a run in the first, and he was dealing after that. He was got, But he got taken out the fourth with elbow discomfort. Mm-hmm. They're going to test his elbow today. So who knows what's going to happen with him going forward. I'm sure we'll have news on that for the big show next week. Um, but I'm man, what do you think about the Padres going forward, though, even without – Potentially without Joe Musgrove. Nah, I'll tell you. You 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 want my picks now, or do you want to get them at the end of the show? We'll get them. Let's get them at the end. But okay. I not think worried. they're good. Yeah. Not worried at all. Yeah, mm. would be great to have Java Joe in there the whole time. Absolutely worried. 